JavaScript language has many built-in powers, and string is one of them. When we use a string, the JavaScript engine treats it as an object behind the scenes. I will teach you more about JavaScript object in later courses, but right now, you just need to know that strings are treated as objects, and objects have properties and methods. For example, string as an object has a method to transform all of its characters to lowercase or uppercase, has a property to find the number of characters inside it, even methods to combine several strings into one. Now, let's write some codes and explore the different properties and methods of JavaScript string. To code along with me, first download the course folder from the link in the description below, unzip it and open it with your favorite code editor. Here I am using Visual Studio Code. From the course folder, open the exercise folder called JavaScript Strings. And then open the index.html file using Google Chrome. Here I also open the JavaScript console. In the index.html file, I also link the transform.js file. In JavaScript, we can find the length of a string or number of characters in it by looking at the string's length property. Let's declare a variable named message and store a string value in it. We can find out how many characters are in the string by looking at the length property like this. I'll display it in the console. The console displays 17. That's the number of characters in this string. And one thing to keep in mind that it also includes the space between hello and JavaScript. If I update the value to hello and see what happens. Now the console prints 6. The length property is quite useful in different programming tasks. For example, to make sure that users set up a password that's at least 8 characters long but no longer than 50. And to make sure that the required input field is not empty. So now let's talk about what does the dot between the variable message and the length keyword mean. As we learned at the beginning of this lecture, strings are treated as objects. So the string value stored in the message variable is also considered an object. And different types of objects have different properties. We'll have a separate section for objects in later courses, but for now just understand that you can access a property or a method of an object using a dot. A property is like a variable, it holds information. A string's length property, for example, has the value of number of characters inside the string. You can use the length property on any string, even on the collection of characters inside the quotes like this. Because this string has five characters inside it, So its length property is 5. And like variable, a property is dynamic and can change. A method is something that you can do with an object, an action that you can perform on a string for example. JavaScript provides many different methods to use on strings. Let's learn these two common methods, to uppercase and to lowercase. As you can easily guess from their name, to uppercase takes a string and converts each character to uppercase and to lowercase converts each character to lowercase. Notice the parentheses at the end. It means that these are methods, like commands you can perform on a string. Now let's learn how to use them. First I'll update the string stored in the message variable to I love JavaScript, then convert it to all lowercase letters using the method to lowercase. Inside console.log, I'll type the name of the variable message, followed by a dot, and the method name to lowercase. This is like earlier when we used dot to access the length property. The main difference is that there are now a pair of parentheses which again indicates that this is a method of the string. We are performing some action on it. Save the file. Refresh the page. Notice how all the letters are now lowercase. Keep in mind that this to lowercase method only transform the value of variable message. 
It will not modify the original value. We can prove this by logging what's inside the message variable after the method runs. Notice how the variable message isn't changed. Now let's try two uppercase method. As you can see in the console, all letters are now in uppercase. Good! Manipulating strings like this is a very common task in programming. I'll teach you more about manipulating strings in an upcoming lectures. And you'll also have a coding challenge to practice your string manipulation skills by creating a small program at the end of the series as well.